Alright, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into the news. Now look, 2K and their events, I mean, I don't I don't know what we're shooting for here. I don't know what we're going for. I don't know. Um I I, I really don't have a clue about the events. But what we're going to do is we're gonna show you a quick event right here. Uh, you know, they had the promo for the event, the Puma Mania. Now, y'all know that I'm a Puma head, man. Like, look, boom. I got two pairs of Pumas right here. I'm wearing two pairs of Pumas right now. So, when I saw the Puma Mania event, when I saw this little trailer, I was hyped. Hold on one second. Can we get camera nine? Hey, and look, Cap. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Cap. And the people told me, Cap, you was messing up with the audio yesterday. So, can we try to get the audio right today, Cap? All right. All right. Here we go. Puma Mania. With the audio, let's get it. Starting on Friday, players will be given Puma Mania and Double Rep. Win with or against one of these players to get it yourself. After you've had it for 24 hours, you'll earn Triple Rep. And if you can get okay. it for 48 hours before the event ends on Sunday, you can okay. earn four times the rep Four as times normal. the rep. You will not want to miss out on this. And that's pretty self-explanatory right there. Cap, come on, Cap, Cap, get on your job, bro. Look, hey, look, that's pretty self-explanatory, man. Puma Mania, I'm a Puma head. This is one of the events. I'm actually the Puma mascot. My boy, the Louisiana kid, think he is. But look, bro, I am the official Puma mascot. Uh, actually, maybe he is because he wear the Puma track suits and stuff. I don't do all that. All I do is I got the shoes. I got the shoes that uh, that I wear for my. You know, y'all know I do it. So these are my it walkers, my everyday walkers. If you wear Pumas or if you wear like the sketches or whatever, because you do like it or whatever, let me know that in the comments. And these are my uh, these are my weekend shoes right here. Like when I'm going somewhere, they got the comfort foam in them, so they are really comfortable. So like when I'm going to the movies with my family or if I'm doing something like that, I love wearing those shoes. But uh, and I'm, I'm actually gonna get me a pair today. If y'all want me to do a video of me going to find me some Pumas today, hey, let me know down in the comment section, man. Hey, we, we gonna try to switch it up. But anyway, uh, Puma Mania has been a massive fail uh, so far. Um, T. Mizzle said that, and this is this is straight from the horse's mouth. He played the event. He stayed up late to 3 a.m. He stayed up, played the event, and uh, he said the event was running well. It was running smooth. It was doing everything it was supposed to do, except it wasn't giving out double rep. And because it wasn't giving out double rep, they took the uh, they took the event away. They had to take it away. Now this is just a, just another. I, I can't even say I'm surprised, right? Because we know that with with 2K, like this is what you get sometimes. Like some sometimes the events. Let's be real. We haven't had an event that worked properly yet. We've not had an event that worked properly yet this season. And it really makes me wonder, like, bro, what's going on? Who's in charge over there or whatever? Because I never like to belittle anybody. I never like to hate on anybody not doing their job or anything like that. But, bro, we got to have one event. Every event, you either haven't been able to play it, you've been randomly getting kicked out of it, or you haven't gotten your rewards in a timely fashion, unless you got them yesterday. I mean, we even have um, we even have one, one person... That was uh, talking to LD2K um, as as late as yesterday. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let, let me see. Let me let me find a tweet real quick. I'm gonna find a tweet. Uh, he says, "Congrats, well deserved." Here we go, right here. This was yesterday that uh, that my guy was saying that my guy in Dev in Devia said, "Can I get my rewards now?" Uh, Mr. Manning, you know, LD2K. Everybody love LD, so we ain't hating on him. They said, I raised it to our producers. They're looking into it. Like, bro, like, this is as recent as yesterday somebody hadn't gotten their rewards. And it's just like, I don't understand it. I don't understand what's so difficult about it. Maybe, if, excuse me, maybe if they were transparent and they came forward and let us know what some of these issues were, some of the hurdles and pitfalls or whatever. Because at this point, I think we deserve to know. 99% of the time, you don't deserve to know everything that goes on behind, behind the scenes or whatever. But I think this is one of those cases. And what y'all think about the in Incredible? I'm going to put a flex on him, like some arms on him. We're going to call him Jim Credibles. But anyway, I feel like there's, like normally, you don't need to know everything that's going on behind the scenes. But at this point in time, I really feel like, bro, I don't need your mixtape in here. We're trying to do a video, brother. Anyway, I feel like... um. I feel like 
you we've we've had so many issues and and this has been such an abysmal lunch such a tr horrendous lunch that we deserve to know more about what's going on at this point yesterday and at the beginning of the week i said i was going to be on the side of the devs i was going to try to shoot things straight down the middle but at this point we have to just tell the truth and say bro it's bad it's really bad right now like they are killing the game themselves like i understand that we're putting the events in the game to try to save the game and try to prolong the longevity of the game but when they don't work what good are these events they're just not any good to anyone at all so we need to figure something out about that guys like like can we get it together i don't really want to go i don't really want to stay but i really need to know Y'all know what the next line is. Drop the next line down in the comments, man. And show, and tell me who you was with. Was you Team Subway and 702 or now? Anyway, look. Can we just get it? Can we, can we, can we, can we, can we get it right, man? Anyway, and then on top of that, ever since the event has been closed out, people are getting randomly kicked from the park. Like, my boy T. Mizzle, two or three times a night. Like, after the, before the event, never getting kicked. As soon as they kicked that event out, now he's getting kicked randomly from the park. And it's like, he's like, the game is almost unplayable for him. I don't understand what's going on. It's like every time, this is why we implore them not to change things. Like when people be like, well, we need to change this. We need to change that. We need to, we be like, no, don't change anything. Because every time they change something, it, it, it messes something up. It breaks something. We can never anticipate what that something is going to be. But something will inevitably be, inevitably be broken try to say that three times fast something will inevitably be broken something will inevitably be broken something will inevitably be broken i can't even say it like that that's all folks anyway uh like i said something will inevitably be broken and we have to figure out a way to avoid this stuff in the beginning with the events, the very first events, the testing ground, park out the dark, it was cool, cool idea, never really worked right, worked better in 18, worked pretty well in 19, and now we're in 20, it seems to be running okay, but bro, it, it, we, we still need more. We, we need more, I don't know if they need more staff, I don't know if we need more training, I don't know what we need, I don't know if we need to test these things out before we roll them out, like put it in a test environment on a test server, have your people try it and see, because it seems like that's not what happening, that's what I would do. Before we roll out updates and all types of stuff like that, we put it in a test environment to see what it's going to break, and then we decide whether we're gonna put that out or not. Now I know that me running my little Windows servers and all that stuff is, is very different in, in contrast to the scope of what you guys are doing, but it's the same concept in my eyes. Anyway, hey, it is what it is. So right now, people are not getting their rewards. People are not getting, um, people are not getting rewards. People can't play events. People are getting kicked out. Demigod glitch is still running rampant. We still have radio, complete radio silence on that. And I'm gonna continue to hold their feet to the fire because like I said, every single time there's any type of glitch that benefits players as far as VC or something that could threaten the longevity of the game, they're on it instantly but but now we're not on it instantly because i, I mean i guess like I, who knows man we're not gonna talk about that anyway on to something more positive real quick hey my the, the boy enrique says can someone confirm this for me i know floor general does not stack correct but if i have floor general gold along with my with my other guard who has hall of fame does it give him uh the plus three boost uh, I still don't know even after like a month. Well, you would know the answer to this, Enrique, if you if you sub to my channel and you, you and you uh used me, you know, you saw my bill, because that was one of the biggest reasons that I made my guy a point guard rather than a shooting guard. Because shooting guards don't get uh they don't get uh, they get dimer, but they don't get floor general. I always wanted to have floor general so I could help my teammates out. I wanted to be the one to run floor general, and I made him with nine playmaking badges because I wanted to run floor general, and I wanted my my uh, my on guard to not have to run floor general, so he could use he could maximize everything with his playmaking badges, and I would have floor general, I would have dimer, I would have quick first step. So that's why we did that. But uh, of course, Chris Madden says, yes, yes, it does. But hey. I'm glad that he just, you know, just proved that I'm right all the time because, you know, if y'all do that, if y'all just, just sub to the channel, bro, I'm right all the time. It is what it is. Just stop fighting. Stop fighting facts. All right? We got to stop fighting facts, bro. You just got to stop doing it. But anyway, it, it is what it is, man. <laughs> Last but not least, guys, 
uh, what I got for you. We got some NBA updates for y'all and stuff like that today, too. But I wanted to show y'all this right here, man. This is something I'm going to call the IQ player today. Somebody said that, um, somebody said, we're going to pause the music here real quick. Somebody said that they wanted to see more stuff like this, more IQ plays of the day and stuff like that. So this is what we got, IQ player of the day. Check this out. What you have right here is a team running a five out. This is at the end of the game, 15 seconds left. Very crucial time in the game. Check out what Man Man Grind Hard is going to say here. Clutch, let bait him and, and get this wing. I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna drop pointer. Uh, yeah, bait this wing. I got you. Now he just said, Clutch, I'm gonna bait the wing. You drop down. We're gonna keep the center in the paint because you know the pinnacle of five out is you want the centers out the paint so the guards can run them up. And with the and with things being how they are this year. Well, guards can't really play defense in the paint unless you have on the secret sauce that I have on. And I'll tell y'all about that later on today. If you have on that secret sauce, you can play defense in the paint. But you just have to sacrifice some badges. Anyway, um, you see what he said. Let's see what happens. Here we go. So clutches on him, passes him to the center. Man, man, goes. They, they baited it because they think that it's going to be a wide open. Um, This is what they want. They... They, Clutch switches off of him. He sees him on him. Man Man's gonna go to the corner because they think he's wide open. Watch what's going to happen. Clutch is gonna fall down. Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. I ain't turned it down, I'm sorry. All right, so look. They're gonna bait the wing. And then, uh, they like I said, we did this because, you know, with five out, they want you to be able to run amok with the uh, with the guards. So the, the whole thing with five out is you don't want the center to be it. The, the other center, your centers can't get rebounds. They can't play defense. So. He baited the wing. The wing immediately tries to throw it. Boom! Give me the steal! And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the 500 IQ of IQ play of the day. They go ahead and run it on out. And uh, I know I messed up the audio on that, but ain't that beautiful, man? He told him what he was going to do. They think, look, he thinks that he's wide open. He baited it. So, look, man, man goes down, drops down. And now... He says, well, the other guy sucked up with the center, so I'm going to pass it to him. They're going to have a wide open three. Psych, psych your mind. And uh, like I said, man, stuff like that, 6,000 IQ plays such as that are the things that you're going to see when you come to our streams, man. And uh, and hopefully you guys do come to the stream and, uh, and holler at your boy. Now we're going to do some NBA scores real quick, and then we're going to get up out of here. Uh, last night you had the Magic over the Heat. 107 to uh, 98. Jimmy Butler had 23.6 rebounds and uh, six assists. Looks like Jimmy Butler is tearing it up a little bit down there. The Hawks fall to the Chicago Bulls, 111 to 93. Um, I mean, hey, look, Kobe White, 29 points, and Rack Levine with 23. It looks like that's gonna be a pretty good, uh, pretty good one-two punch down there. I don't know. It could have just been that they were playing against the Hawks, man. So we really have no idea how that's gonna work out. But hey, it is what it is. Portland Trail Blazers fall to the Denver Nuggets, 110 to 104. Uh, Zach Collins with 13 points and 11 rebounds. Like we said, we know that the starters are not playing right now, but anything that you're showing right now is going to help you get on the court later on in the season. Uh, the Porsche God says he's back and back with a with an vengeance as the as the duo of of the Porsche God and uh, and Luka Doncic. They combined for, uh, let me see, uh, Porsche guy has 18 points and 13 rebounds. Luka Doncic has 15 points as the Dallas Mavericks defeat the uh, the LA Clippers 102 to 87. Like we said, this is just the preseason, so it really doesn't mean a whole lot. Um, and then last but not least, we have Minnesota Timberwolves. Uh, we have the Milwaukee Bucks over the Tim uh, over the Minnesota Timberwolves and pretty much a blowout 118 to 96 uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo 26 points and 14 rebounds man like I said I'm ready for the NBA season when we get to the NBA season I'm gonna be putting these up I might have some highlights and all of that I'm trying to see how we're gonna get that done me and brutal sim on the scene wicked than me we should have the podcast later on tonight he says he don't have a whole lot to do on Friday so we're gonna see how that goes and other than that man I hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, let me know if you've been able to play the events. If you felt like, how do you feel about the events? Do you feel like the events are garbage so far, or do you just feel like, uh, like, it, like the game is just? Does it just feel like it's not? It's almost not worth playing at this point. Like, what do we feel? How do you really feel about the game? Let me know down in the comments. Should we keep on playing it? Do we feel like 2K? We know 2K owes us more accountability at this point, but do we feel like they, like, not just more accountability, 
but they need to be more transparent at this point on exactly what's going on because it's just been too much. It's been a month. The game is still not in a functional state, and we still are having like like stuff like that. Let me know if y'all think I should put some arms on this guy with the flex and he be the, with the gym credibles. And um, like I said, if you like the biceps, give me the gym star down in the comments. I'll give y'all the workout plan. And uh, other than that, man, I'm gonna catch y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Hello, oh yeah. Let me talk to my people that's in college right quick, man. Cause you know a couple people think I think I think a couple people might have had it messed up yesterday. I'm not telling you not to go to class. I'm just saying that I was able to get A's and B's without going to class. Now, the only reason I didn't get A's in every class and I had to get B's in some of those classes is because they had attendance policy. And if y'all know about, if you've been to college, you know about that attendance policy, six absences or lates and then you you dead. So, you know, sometimes I got B's. Some classes didn't have those. Some I didn't have to go to class every time. And I know a lot of y'all don't either. And, but, but, but when you get up to your set, I will say this with this caveat, when you get up to your junior and senior year in those last couple of semesters, hey, it ain't, it really, you probably really don't have no time because you got senior projects, you got all types of stuff like that. I hated group projects though, man. So, you know, it is what it is. That's why I work pretty much by myself uh, doing IT. But yeah, go to class, be cool, stay in school, go to class, do whatever you got to do, get off your, all that. Hey, go to class, man. Don't do like I did. I'm not an example. I'm not exactly a pillar of right in the community, even though I do have a successful job and I um and I did go to college and I did finish college and all that good stuff. I ain't, don't do like I did, man. Hey, hey my way ain't everybody's way. Y'all got the internets now anyway, so y'all don't even really got to go to class, do you? Be, be real. Tell me down in the comments. Y'all ass don't be going to class, do you? Y'all just get somebody to sign y'all in like we used to do and get the assignments off the internet. When I was in school, the internet wasn't even around. It, well, it was around, but it wasn't nothing on it. So, you know, it is what it is. But don't y'all be doing that. Y'all be getting people to sign y'all in, sign their paper, sign you in, and then you just get the assignments off the internet and all that stuff. But uh, like I said, math and chemistry and stuff like that, that, that stuff don't change. That's why I really didn't have to go to class math computer science all that stuff it, it really don't change i just had to come do my project i actually had a i actually had a a professor named dr srish kandaraja and he would always say like he used to make me take the test I, I used to do programming for him he used to make me take the test in his class because he was saying bro it is impossible for you to make a's and do this stuff and you're not coming to class you gotta be cheating he made me sit right there in front of him no cap right there in his room and, and 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 do a program and i did it in like five minutes and i said all right doc i'm a high listen and he said bro you smart as hell you just don't try he like you just like me i was like you know what i love you too dr streets but anyway man that was just one of my stories one of my mini stories from college y'all want more stories y'all let me know i'm out of here till next time it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's show godspeed holla